Hi guys and welcome to this tutorial on how to open DXF files in AutoCAD. So normally when we work in AutoCAD we want to uh, create a new drawing and this is the drawing where we will actually draw, for example it could be a road plan and so on and then we want to link or extract the different files that we have downloaded to this new drawing. But in order to use the extract function then we need to convert the DXF files into DVD files. So first we need to open the DXF files and we can do this if we go to the application menu and then select open and we want to open a drawing and make sure that you have selected DXF and now for example in this case I have just created a couple of DXF files so I will select the traffic file and say open And now I can see that the file is actually opened, but if I type in zoom extend, I will be able to see the drawing and we can now see this is the area, this is where we have uh, via University College. And in order for me to use it as an extra file, I want to save it as a DVD file. But before I do this, I just want to type in DD units and then hit enter. And now we want to set the scale to meters and say OK. And also we want to type in options, hit enter. And we just want to make sure that both the sort units and also the target units is set to meters, so this is OK. So I'll just close this. And now I want to save the file. And we can now see that the file will be saved as a DWG file. So I'll just say save and OK to this. And I, I will do the same with the other DXF files. And I will just close this uh, traffic file. And this is um, a new drawing that I have opened with the VIA template. We can see we have the drawing header. And now I want to extract the different cat drawings that I have now created, so I will type in xref and hit enter and I can right click in this area and then I want to attach DVG and let me just select the traffic drawing, say OK and we can see that the insert units is set to meters, so this is OK and if I just zoom in and we can just measure a distance, for example, the width of the road, if I type in DI for distance. And we can see the width is about 6 meters, so this uh, seems okay. And if I want to attach the other files that I have created, again I will just right click within this area and select Attach DVD. And I will attach the technical data and say OK to this and we can see if I turn off the technical or the traffic just uh, unload it we can now see that we have the technical data and I can just reload it again to see all of the roads and also I want to attach the last DVD file with the buildings say open and in this case we can see that I haven't changed uh, the file with the buildings, so I'll just cancel this and now I just want to open the, the drawing with the, with the buildings in, the DXF file, I will open it and again just zoom extend and then I will type in DD units and I just want to change this to meters and say OK and I want to save it and if I go back to the drawing with my extra files then I can attach the DVD file of the buildings and open and now we can see that the unit is set to meters and then it's OK and now we have the different files of the area 
And all of these files are the ones that I downloaded from the Danish website called Kortforsyningen. But we also downloaded a file from the Danish website called Area Information. And I can also extract this file to this drawing right here. So again, if I go to the External References and right click Attach DVD. And now I just need to select the file. We have the protected areas, so I'll just click on open. And this one is also set to meters, so I will click on OK. And now we can see this green line, this is the area where we have the protected area. But this is the principle of how you can open the DXF files and how you can save them as a DVD file and then afterwards you can link them together in a new drawing if you use the external references.